มสาระความรู้ก่อนใครได้ที่ RSU วิสตอนทีวีทางระบบทีวีดาวเทียมหรือผ่านแอปพลิเคชัน RSU วิสตอนทีวีดาวน์โหลดแอปพลิเคชันได้ที่ Google Play และ App Store Welcome back to the show. Taking a look at what's happening in ASEAN interview this week, Obama comes out to talk about how the pivot to Asia is not just a fad. โอเคกลับเข้าสู่รายการอาเซียนชาเลนจ์ค่ะซึ่งในช่วงนี้นะคะเราก็จะไปพูดคุยเกี่ยวกับประเด็นต่างๆที่สําคัญกับอาเซียนอินเทอร์วิวค่ะเอเชียชนของ Southeast Asian Nations หรือ ASEAN leaders attend the opening ceremony of the regional summit which has been shadowed by a rift between US and Philippine presidents ในระยะนี้สภาพการพาพื้นและสากลสืบต่อพันเปรปอย่างไว้ว่าและซับสนมีสิ่งท้าทายด้านพวกมันคงหลายอย่างเกิดขึ้นอยู่ภาพพื้นต่างๆของโลกเช่นการก่อการหายและวิชัยรัฐรัฐที่หัวหุ้นแห้งภัยพิบัติธรรมชาติการเปลี่ยนแปลงของดินผ้าอากาศอาเซียนแมนภาคเพื่อนหนึ่งที่สำคัญของนโยบายต่างประเทศของสโพลาวบนพื้นฐานหลักการเพื่อสันติภาพเอกลาดมิตรภาพและการหัวมือ In a speech during his visit to Laos as the first sitting U.S. president to do so, President Barack Obama says his push to rebalance U.S. foreign policy to focus more on Asia is not a passing fad, and in a clear reference to China, says bigger countries should not dictate to smaller ones. America's interest in the Asia Pacific is not new. It's not a, a passing fad. It reflects fundamental national interests, and in the United States, across the political spectrum, there's widespread recognition that the Asia Pacific will become even more important in the century ahead, both to America and to the world. First, we believe that all nations and peoples deserve to leave, live in security and peace. We believe that the sovereignty and territorial integrity of every nation must be upheld, and we believe that every nation matters. No matter their size, we believe that bigger nations should not dictate to smaller nations, and that all nations should play by the same rules. America's treaty allies must know our commitment to your defense is a solemn obligation that will never waver. And across the region, including in the East and South China Seas, the United States will continue to fly and sail and operate wherever international law allows, and support the right of all countries to do the same. And we believe that there needs to be good governance because people should not have to pay a bribe to start a business or sell their goods. And that's the kind of development and the kind of trade that we seek. That's why the Trans-Pacific Partnership is so important. Not only because TPP countries, including the United States, will be able to sell more goods to each other, but it also has important strategic benefits. TPP is a core pillar of America's rebalance to the Asia Pacific. And the trade and the growth it supports will reinforce America's security alliances and regional partnerships. It will build greater integration and trust across this region. And I have said before, and I will say again, failure to move ahead with TPP would not just have economic consequences, but would call into question America's leadership in this vital region. So, as difficult as the politics are back home, I will continue to push hard on the U.S. Congress to approve TPP before I leave office, because I. Think it is important for this entire region, and it is important for the United States. k o b j a i l a i l a i thank you very much. Thank you.
that wraps up our ASEAN challenge this week. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again very soon next week. For now, สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ